Uh, I'm here in Arlington with Roy Gazowski, who is uh, leading Eviation, which is going to be the first uh, designed all-electric propulsion uh, aircraft, commercial aircraft. It is going to get ready to fly in the next several months. Roy, what makes this, this beautiful airplane work? One is beautiful. It is beautiful. So that makes it work. There you the go. second thing is that it's all electric. Uh -huh. There will be no fuel-based systems on this whatsoever. It's mm -hmm. all going to be electric, uh, and it's going to be a fly-by-wire aircraft. Uh -huh. So it's computerized, it's controlled, and it's zero emission. Right. So you've already flown, essentially, electric aircraft in, in other pre-designed airplanes, right? What, what have you flown already? That's right. We've already flown a Beaver uh -huh. uh, that's been electrified. We've right. flown a Grand Caravan that's been electrified. Uh -huh. In fact, the Beaver has been flying since December of 2019 and is, as late as last week. And so the propulsion system right. and how do you make an electric aircraft of this scale work, uh -huh. we've already proven. Yeah. Now it's about taking that design and those learnings and putting it into a clean sheet aircraft that will really bring in the efficiencies to play. So it's so beautiful, looks so sleek. What, what, is that just because it looks good, or what, what, what is the aeros aeronautics that makes this thing So because, we ha because the batteries aren't as good as fuel when it comes to density, uh -huh. we have to do something different in order to carry a lot of batteries and fly the distance. Yeah. Part of that means we have to really take advantage of long, sleek, clean wings that make it look more like a glider. It is. It's right? beautiful. It's high aspect wings. And if you look at the aircraft, the aircraft itself is a lifting body. Uh -huh. And so we really have to look differently at how you design aircraft and how you think about aircraft because of the issues yeah. of batteries. What is your vision for the would be a typical distance of a, of a flight commercially? I would say two to four hundred miles max. Right. It's a small aircraft perfect for commuting, uh -huh. perfect for short distances, where you want to avoid traffic, where you want to get to a suburb uh -huh. that now maybe post-COVID could be farther away from the city, right. and you can travel back and forth with ease. Pretty exciting. Well, you're getting close to flying airplanes. This can be very exciting. You brought talent in from all over the world. I got to meet them. The fact you're in Washington State leading a clean energy revolution could not be more exciting to me. And we are excited to be here. Well, you are going to lead the clean energy revolution. It is. And, and uh, one airplane at a time. So congratulations. Thank you very much. Good luck. Good flying. Thank you. Yeah.